Hello everybody and welcome to All of Fabric episode 2. So what I've been doing is I've been doing a bit of resource collecting so let's get started and have a look at that. As you can see the torch is now, the big torch is now full and that basically means we've got 8 chunks radius which means 128 blocks where mobs do not spawn which is great. I've also got some, I think I've got some iron in here, 55 iron so I'm going to smelt those up. And we shall make the first bit of ore doubling. In fact, I may have even noticed I got some in there quickly. No, you don't notice it. But I do have these um, azaleas. And I'm going to use these azaleas to make some dye. So let's let's craft that up here. Because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to craft up so a, a sleeping bed. No, I haven't got any sky stone. I'm just wondering if I've got where I put my wool. <laughs> no, I've got some wool around somewhere. So while that's smelting, let's go down and have a look at the rest of the stuff that I've been doing. So 128 blocks basically means the village is safe. And you can see here there's about four, maybe four or five iron golems. And I've been putting down beds just to, <laughs> somewhere to sleep. And I keep putting down beds and they keep getting taken. So I've got five here and there's a baby running around. So wool, I need here some white wool. Let's just take, let's take half this grey wool here and then just craft that in here. You'll also notice I've got some string here too. So if I should be doing, uh, I'm not sure how to do this. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at uses of this. I want blue dye basically. Let's look for sleeping bag. That's a sleeping bag durability. And this one is a, for sleeping bag from Kilby. So we'll use this one. So it's three blocks of that, which I think I need white wool for. Okay, so we'll have to use white wool. Let's get back here. So I can't use the grey wool for that, so let's just take these out of here and then try that. So I should be able to craft these up. In fact, let's do it on this one and do it this way. Now the advantage of doing this is it's always with me, so I don't have to carry around a bed. And it also doesn't set your um, spawn point. So over here, oh, more babies or children. And then I've basically been correct collecting as many crops as I can and every time I go around I just do do those and I will have noticed in here I've got some crops and some seeds so in here some quite a few crops that I've been getting now these ones are quite useful for carbohydrates and vegetables and soybeans are quite good for protein and fats so while we do anything before we do anything else go and have a look at the mine all I did is just mine straight down well over two blocks of course that's the best way to mine in this in minecraft here we go i've got to get into i've forgotten how to get into it oh actually there's a gate <laughs> that helps doesn't it so all it is mine straight down here like this and as you'll notice there are quite a few levels and this one is here is a, is a level of basically just dirt by the looks of it. But because we've got the big torch up here, well, it's actually in the house, isn't it? So it's there. So it's 55 blocks where there are no mobs spawning down here. And in fact, even in spawners, mobs don't spawn. So here was the second level of area. And here was the third level. And you can see over here, slamble. We're going to take that. I think it might be handy. In fact, more than one, two. So maybe we're in a slime chunk. So here we have a sort of, um, I suppose this is a mine, isn't it? I looks it, but a bit broken up. But we're not going to go down here. We're going to go down further, first of all. So let's have a look at down the bottom. And that's also the same level, I think. And yet another level. <laughs> There's a lot of levels of stuff before you get to the bottom. In fact, it's pretty hard to do anything sensible. It, you can't do branch mining very much any, these days but I have found some gold as you can see and here's some more gallium and here's redstone and then here are some diamonds you can see I've found some diamonds over here and then we can go around here and this is where it actually starts to get fairly interesting so it's got all these little oh, I can hear a slime I've got to get my axe out I don't know where the slime is oh he's there so you've got to be careful on these things here, but there's a lot of 
um, <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, where's that guy gone to? There's a lot of little lava bo blocks in there, which is actually not that usual, common. So let's just, what I'm going to do is, what we've got to do, dark oak planks. All right, I'll use one of those. Let's just uh, put those down here, fill that in. So we can then get this ore. And this is a um, nickelite ore from Industrial Revolution. This is actually one of the key ingredients you need for this. It's actually one of the things that makes it's very important for industrial that mod. <laughs> I've forgotten its name. Industrial Revolution. Then we've got some more iron, so let's pick up that. Because there's no thing nothing short of needing lots of iron. So as you can see there's more iron over there. There's more diamonds over here. I won't take those just yet until we've got some way of getting a little bit better return. So, and here's an interesting one. This one is uh, lightstone oil. It's basically equivalent. Let's check I've got enough space. Let's go in here. It's basically equivalent to glowstone. Or some properties are the same as glowstone. I won't just do that over my head, of course, that's not a good idea. Like that. And you can hear bats are getting ground over there. So maybe the um, the slime is up here. Oh, yes, there he is, look. So we can go and get some more slime balls from him, because they must be in the slime junk. Oops. Now I've lost my axe, so but I've got a sword here. Let's use a sword. And I better be careful because there might be behind me, there might be some more lava blocks. There is one there. And as you can see here is a spawner. There were nothing there was nothing spawning in from the spawner. Mainly because it's actually um it's well lit up anyway. If I press F7 to show you the dark bits, there are no red crosses because of the lava. And there's some more gold, and there's a mine over here of some description. Um, I'm actually reluctant to go over here, but we come across all this copper ore here like that, and then we can fill in this lava over here and take some bits and pieces out of it. What have we got here? Oh yes, apartheid ore. The appetite ore, sorry. And we can mine this up as well. So let's just mine up this appetite ore. And what this is, in fact, it probably tells me anyway, before I looked at it, it's probably from um, Croptosis. So that basically means we can uh, use that, I think, exactly the same as phosphorus ore. Uh, there's more, you see, there's, more, everything, there's got a lot of minerals and ores down here, but they're all covered in lava, so it takes a bit of time to, to get these done so let's just go back to the base in fact I might as well just see you there when I'm back at the base it's fairly straightforward oops <laughs> that was a bit close didn't like that so I don't have any water with me but you can actually when thinking about that you can make a wooden bucket from QB so if you look at the the recipe for this it's just three planks or three not planks three logs in a in a bucket shape and that will make that one for you. So I'll see you when I get upstairs. So right, I'm back upstairs, and I'm just going back into the house. So see how this, see how the iron's finished. Yes, it's finished good. <laughs> it's daytime. I'm not sure why the, these guys are in here, but uh, we've got two beekeepers. Okay, so what we can now do with this, I've got 55 ingots of iron in here we can make something what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of here we'll make it we'll do it outside I'm going to make a hammer so the recipe for hammer is um, it's basically for five blocks of iron it's one of these a forge hammer from in, from industrial uh, modern industrialization and we can do this one so this needs 45 blocks plus nine so we need 49 blocks of iron to do this so let's do that. In fact, it would have been sensible had I not just done the 49, wouldn't it? Uh, so let's bake these blocks up first of all. We need five of those, so let's take one of those out off there, like that. 
And then we should be able to make the forge hammer up. It should be ready to do like this. Fantastic. And then we can go and put this down. Let's put it down. It doesn't really matter where we put it down for the time being. Let's put it down here. So as soon as you put in some here iron dust, we get all doubling straight away. So we've got six of these, which is um, good. So any of the ores that I've picked up now, we can actually all double. And then did we pick up any lignite coal ore? I think we can do that one as well. So we've got some tin and we've got some copper. We're going to need those reasonable amount and I think we can do those as well. Not all of the ores we can double, but we certainly used to be able to do lignite ore, which we can now. So we get basically double that now. Also with tin we can double that and with uh, copper we can double that as well. So we've got plenty of those so we can then stick those into the into the furnace here and let them get cooked as it were. So let's put those in there like that. And then we'll put the rest of the stuff up here. In fact, it would be a good idea if I made some tools now. Let's just have a think. We've got one more of these. And this is basically exactly the same as phosphor potash. I mean, I said phosphor potash. It'll make things grow quickly. So any of our crops, we should basically be able to grow in one or two hits. I think most of us I did was three and I got a full crop, mature crop. But you can also see on trees here as well, you've got something growing. So you go up to it and have a look at it. And this one is a peach crop, which has got 0%. So what we can do is if we can then take one of these ores. So we'll take this one here, Appetite Ore, and right-click that. We've got a mature pe peach now. So we can right-click that and drop that off. We can do it again. And this time I've, used, I've got some potash. It'll work with potash too, so we can do that one. It matures in one hit. Of course that works in crops. Now what you can also do with this is you can then make a tree or a sapling. Let's have a look. All we need is any sapling will do. Wrong place. So let's go up. We've got 23 oak saplings. So all we need to do then is just craft this up. So we can put up these two peaches here. And then we can put a, a sapling with it. And then we get a peach sapling. She can then go and plant. Hello. <laughs> so we'll just go and plant that somewhere. I'm not sure where. Hopefully we'll get mature peaches from it. But they don't seem to be maturing too well. So let's put it down like that. As you can see, this peach sapling. So now let's go off to this to the next one. Over this village over here. Where's it gone to? 290 blocks home. Not very far. So we're reasonably safe. But you'll notice that my health is actually down a bit. Cause, probably because of that term. Um, uh, slime so what we can then do is have a look at our nourishment so let's have a look at this nourishment here so as you can see carbohydrates and protein are low so let's eat some of these um, soybeans because that will be that's vegetables proteins and fat and this one is carbohydrates and vegetables in fact I probably would be better eating the corn but you see I can eat both of those together so that's that will actually fill me up enough. Let me have a look at this again, and you'll see carbohydrates is still low, but as long as it's above forty percent, unfortunately you don't know where forty percent is. Uh, never mind, we'll we'll figure that at some stage again. I'll eat this again when I get hungry again. So let's trundle off to this village. It's actually surprising how quickly this village has grown, because I haven't been playing that long. So while I'm doing this, we shall go and have a look at this village because in the middle of this village is another meteor site. In fact, it would actually be a sensible idea since I've got three iron here. Let's just make up an iron pickaxe and maybe another thing to make up is an iron bucket because we, with an iron bucket we can make some recipes, which is pretty useful. But we can also carry water and uh, we can carry it with a wooden bucket too. Let's just do this one because an iron pickaxe is always useful because then we can at least start to get some of the other ores like um, redstone ore because there's plenty of that around. We don't need to worry about maximizing those out off. What else is interesting that's happened recently when I've been playing the game? As you can see, this, this forest is quite a large one. 
And it's quite dark. And you also get no bird noises as well. So here we reached the village already. So there's different buildings in this particular village. What I haven't shown you. That sounds like a zombie. There are two. Where are they then? <laughs> I haven't got much in the way of armour yet. Let's just go into here. Have a look in these chests. Oh, he's got a diamond. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think that those zombies are probably underground. Or above us. And maybe there must be underground. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build another big torch. We'll take the diamond because that's not going to be bad. And this is carbohydrates. So we'll take some bread as well. And that gives me a reasonable amount of food as well. So I've now got the achievement diamonds. I guess they're underground. It's daytime, so maybe hopefully they are because <laughs> I haven't got much protection. So if I look carefully now, in the middle of this village, there should be a big hole. Let's look at the map. Oh yes, here it is, look. So I'm going that way. Oh, we've got there a crate of sweet berries. So that's interesting. I haven't seen one of those before. That's new. But a lot of the houses here. Oh, and here's a pedestal. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a waystone. And you can right click this waystone and make your own so we've got here waystones as a mod so that's one one way to teleport across different places and here we've got a chest which you can't open because it's blocked by pieces of wood um sword an axe where's my axe oh my axe broke didn't it so let's just use this wooden axe and get rid of that of course i've got to be careful because there's a oh i've got <laughs> perfect we've got an iron axe in there fantastic um, the rest of it I'll leave in, don't need to touch it for now. Let's go over here, how do I get through this stone? Okay, I'll just break the stone, one with another pickaxe. I'll use the stone pickaxe for doing that. I have the fence as well. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll put the cobblestone in the way. No, we'll do this dark oak planks down here. And then we should be able to go across this, uh, except for there's a block in there as well. So that <laughs> didn't work very well. Let's just break this one down here. Then I should be able to get across, no problem. Right. So here, as you can see, there is another uh, meteor. So let's go and have a look in the middle of this meteor. But also the water seems to be... Some of these blocks are not behaving correctly, and I'm not quite sure why. You'll see that this has gone like that, and it should really be flowing. There's no reason for this not to flow. So let's go across. Actually, I do need something in my hand. Cobblestone will do. Okay, I should be able to get out of there now. Skystone. In fact, it's coming up to night time, so we'll have a quick sleep. And just do it. I'll come back in a second when I've figured out where it is. I think the middle is here. So I'll get the sleeping bit out. In fact, last time I did this, I was doing it on the... Um, a path yeah, and you've got a transparent view below the ground that was fast seems to be faster than the other one so what we'll do now is we'll get the iron pickaxe out because you saw remember last time how slow it was with the stone pickaxe and this time it should be a little bit quicker mm, having said that it doesn't look that much quicker does it all right i'll see you in a minute when i've got down to the chest well i've reached the chest so what we can probably do is just drop down here I've also got with me some planks so we can get out of here. Let's have a look in here. We've got two plates. What have we got this time? We've got the inscriber press and the stone and calculator press. So last time we got it was the silicon press, if I remember rightly. So let's jump up and I've got to press shift on jump up, haven't I? So there we are. That's that one done. And there is another one. Let's have a look at the map. If I might have been able, I might have seen it somewhere. And one of my little blocks that I've been travelling around, I saw the... I've seen another meteor site. This one we've already dealt with because that's near to home. Here is another one. So we should go and visit that one and I'll see you in a second when we get there. Well, as you can see, I'm getting near here because you can see all of these dis destroyed trees because of the lava burning the things down. So. Let's have a look down here, and you can see this is a lava-based one. Ha! Huh. But I did pick up, I did mine up some dirt as I was coming down here. So let's just 
Oh, I've got a bit short of inventory space. Let's have a look. What I should do is build one of these challenges. Next challenge is... Um, maybe I can eat something as well. We picked up some feathers. I didn't realise I'd done that. Oh, yes, and in fact, I do know I've done that. You see, this is also behaving slightly oddly. So when I put down some dirt here... Let's do that. In fact, well, I might as well put this cobblestone down first, might and then it'll get rid of one of these blocks. And then we should have enough dirt to go across here. And that should give us enough space to do what we need, so let's do that. Can I reach that side yet? Nope. So the middle is probably around about here. Let's have a look. They're not too difficult. The last one was four blocks down and this one probably be about the same. I guess it's around about here. So I'm going to be digging down here and I'll see you in a second because it doesn't I'm going to be using a I'm using the stone pick as well. So I'll see you in a minute when I've got to the bottom. Well, I was spot on. Well, look, we got three in this particular case, so we probably got all of the ones we need. So what's this one here? Silicon press. In fact, yes, we've got all of the bits we need in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put stuff that I don't need. Like I've got a spruce fence here. We don't need that. Let's just get rid of that. I've also got eight sticks. So no, we can take that anyway, can't we? So that's no problem. So that's everything. And I'm not going to bother with the sky stone. I don't think it's got any particular use. Oh, we can go down and get it. We've got five already. Um, let's have a look at the uses of sky stone. So we can make a chest, we can make some slabs, or we can make some stairs. And I guess we can smelt it into sky stone blocks. We can chop it into the same things. Loop drop basically means what happens when you mine it. Then we've got cutting machine. Which does what? Slabs and yep, yeah, okay, same as the other one. This one takes a block. And the uses of a block, oh we have to do we have some uses out of this. So you can get an ME controller. So maybe it's well worth getting some uh, skystone then. What else does it have in here? Just that one. So the ME controller is we're gonna need, but we've got four pieces already, so that's no problem. We shall use those. So now to get out of here, of course, I'll just use um let's just jump up and use this last piece of planks here, because we probably don't need those. And it also makes us some space for the inventory. So now it's time to go back home and <laughs> find my way out. <laughs> and there we are. So I'll see you when I'm back at the home. In fact, this is not path, is it? Let's just make some path and I'll show you what happens when you put down some path here. So we just tow up these two grass blocks like Oh, that's hoeing them up. I don't want to do it. I want a spade, don't I? I can't do that. All right, I'll see you when I'm back home. So we're back at home. We've got all of the different, all of the four plates. In fact, yes, mostly twice, not quite. Uh, so we've basically got all the plates we need for applied energistics. But before we do that, what we can also do is make one more thing. This is still cooking. I was surprised when I came back. And in fact, what I'd like to do is I'd like to put those in here and put those out of there and get six more iron so we can put this away in which chest this looks like the best place for copper at the moment we shall soon be able to get um, to machines i think that'll probably start next episode at the moment i'm still having a little bit of problem with food it, these are going down faster than my food is <laughs> when you're just working normally it uh, makes life a bit difficult so so one thing you have to do is to either run or damage yourself, which is uh, not too difficult to do, is it? Up and just jump off something to, in order to get those going up. Uh, what else have we got in here that I can get rid of? This flower by the looks of it. And they've got some more wool because I was going past some sheep at the time. We can also make some arrows because I, I attacked, um, well, a skeleton attacked me, but I killed it when, just before I died, actually. I didn't die, but I nearly died um, from the skeleton. So, what I want to do now is to make something else in here i should have some stone yes i do i want to make a smithing table so let's have a look at the recipe for smithing table in fact let's just do it like this smithing i think this one smithing table so we need two 
iron block so we can use these two which you know, from better end so and then four planks and that'll make one of those up so let's just do that have we got any wood in here no i should have some wood somewhere if i haven't got it in there then i'm a bit messed no i haven't got any there <clears throat> oh yeah let's go make a smoothing table from somewhere else i won't take this plank I'm just going to get me here because i've got plenty once you've got one of these uh when you've got one of those dark oak woods you get about almost a stack of almost a stack each time you do it so strip jungle wood oh i'll, use, I'll keep that one never mind let's use this one here four planks wasn't it i think we can turn this one into planks we can good and then we should be able to make out of that a smoothing table like this and then we can put this down somewhere does not really matter where for the time being like that maybe one of the these guys then becomes a smith so what we can do with this is we can take our, our crook we've got a wooden crook here but it's already half used let's not use that one let's use a another one and try again that didn't work very well did it and that makes a wooden a wooden frame okay so we can then make one of these and then we can put this in here and i would like to get some cobblestone have i got some cobblestone in here no i haven't that's really weird so <laughs> in that case i'm going to use an iron one and we'll use an uh, i'm reluctant to use my iron to be dead honest with you i'll tell you what we'll do just put we'll just put down one of those stone block and break it with a pick oh <laughs> still do somebody become a smith didn't i let's try that again and then we can get a stone crook and that will then last twice as long as the other one's 131 compared to 159 for this one well that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it next time we're going to start with some machines between episodes i'm going to build another big torch and fill it up as much as i can and i'm also going to go and set up a fishing a fishery at an afk fish farm so until then i wish you all the best bye for now